Hello everyone, it's Carly from the Pro Tree of Nice and I have a weekly sales update video for you guys for Etsy and eBay. Um, okay, I'm just going to dive right in because there's a few things to show you. It's been a fairly good week. Um, things are starting to pick up, thank goodness, <laughs> in both of the shops. Um, okay, so first of all, I have these. If you saw my uh, haul video from last week, the uh, $15 Epic Church Rummage Sale, you will have seen these in the haul video. These were just a set of three vintage um, like glass lampshades. Um, they took a little bit of researching to find the right keywords, but as you can see here, we ended up with amber carnival glass beaded glass tulip glass iridescent okay so those were things that i finally came across <laughs> from a, from quite a lot of looking um but obviously it worked they were up for less than two days on etsy and um, i paid 50 cents for these the entire set of three at this church rummage sale and they sold for 24.95 in less than 48 hours all right, next is this pair of vintage denim overalls. These were by Liberty from about the 1980s, um, and they were worn, <laughs> is a polite way of saying it. They had definitely been worn um, for, like, working, I suppose. I guess that's what they were kind of designed for. <laughs> um, but I called them distressed. I disclosed all of like these areas of wear and stuff. There's some little holes and things like that. And they sold in, see right here, they sold in less than two weeks. Um, and I paid $2 for these at a yard sale and they sold for $49.95 and buyer paid shipping. And this is on Etsy. Okay, next is this little vintage coin purse, well, purse <laughs> with a kiss lock. Uh, fastening here. It actually had two separate sides to it. Top grain, genuine how, uh, cowhide is what it said here. Um, I got this at a church rummage sale and I paid 16 cents for this when everything was parted out. You can see the two compartments here with like a suede leather inside and this sold for $19.95. Um, okay, so then there was this Daffy Duck necktie from 1993. I had this in my store for about two weeks before it sold. I paid 75 cents for this in a thrift store and it sold for 19.95. Um, oh, so last week at this church rummage sale, this epic church rummage sale, go back and watch the whole video if you haven't seen it. It was truly something. <laughs> um, I paid five cents a piece for these books and I think I walked out of there, well I walked out of there with about six dollars and fifty cents worth of books so if each was five cents you can imagine how many vintage books I now have in my life. Um, but I talked to you guys in the whole video about what I do with them, right? So I picked usually the ones that I think are attractive or have a good subject matter like in the title and things like that um, so for instance here you can see this one on the bottom uh, prison and chocolate cake and then this one here um, is called poems that touch the heart getting the most out of life is this other one just things that generally I think are attractive I suppose and that go together well as a set um, so using this as an example five cents a piece at this rummage sale and this set lotted together sold for $29.95 and as you can see here what I do um, is I use keywords do with like book decor book decorations bookshelf decor um, as you know I'm selling these with the intention of people using them for home decor purposes and um, these particular books were from the 1940s and the 1950s um, and as you can see here they definitely did have some wear to them but they were also quite beautiful okay I had these in my shop for a little while actually I'd probably say two to three months and um, they were like this dusty pink color uh, they were by Luxottica and um, from the sort of late 70s early 80s they were I mean I thought they were really cute if you know you can pull it off <laughs> Um, I liked them, um, but I bought these for $2 at a thrift store, and I sold them for $39.95. Okay, I found this Miss Saigon, as in the musical theatre production, um, mug at a church rubbish sale, very randomly. I paid $0.40 cents for this there, as you can see the symbol on the back, and then 1988 down here, it sat for maybe maybe six weeks something along those lines paid 40 cents and it sold for 24.95 uh, next is this pair of glasses. Um, these, they just had made in Italy on the frames. I don't think they had an actual brand. Um, they were really hard to photograph. I bet you can tell by, by looking at it. It's like, are they there? Are they really there? Um, but they were kind of these like light yellow 
clear color plastic frames and um, very 80s style there was definitely a little bit of wear to the arms which I disclosed um, but anyway I paid two dollars for these at the thrift store as well and I sold them for $29.95 and the last Etsy thing this week is yet another pair of glasses it's definitely been an eyeglasses kind of week um, these were I thought these were awesome they're so cool with like all this detailing and stuff on the bridge piece here um, I got these in a big old bag full of vintage eyeglasses that I picked up at a, um, an estate sale a while ago they just had a big like ziploc bag a big one for I think it was two dollars they wanted for the entire bag so I got it and when I pieced it all out with what I was gonna sell this pair of glasses being one of them it ended up being 18 cents one eight um, per frame so I sold these for $34.95 all right, and on to eBay. So if you saw my whole video from this weekend, <laughs> and this is the thing I picked up at a church from its sale. I paid 62 cents. This ended up being, um, I actually took a best off of $20. Took me a while to work out what all it was. <laughs> um, and I still have my little question mark over here because I think I got it right. Um, but I put as much information as possible in my description. All the measurements I disclosed that I don't actually know what this is for, apart from it being motorcycle luggage or um what model bike or where on the bike it goes um, anyway someone obviously knew what it was gave me a best offer of twenty dollars which i was happy to take since it cost me 62 cents and they paid shipping so that was up for less than a day um this i've had in my store for uh, at least two months and um, i paid three dollars for this little set here so a dollar a piece um which, you know, is a good deal. Um, I had it up for $40. That was really me kind of pulling a number out of thin air. There wasn't that many comps that I could see necessarily. Um, but I ended up taking a best offer of $25 with buyer paying shipping, which I was happy to do. Um, okay, super random. I woke up this morning and I had two sales, which is great. Um, and they were both it was this hat this Hoyt USA vintage hat and then it was this one Hoyt but they were different sellers and both of them paid full price without any um any best offer someone tell me what happened <laughs> unravel the mystery I'm I'm assuming that somehow somewhere they were like advertised whether through eBay or through I don't know someone give me a theory please but anyway they both sold overnight <laughs> randomly this one had been up for about two days um, it was actually a uh, new new old stock uh, new with tags or whatever but as you can see on the front well you could see if I would zoom in let's see well it, it's hard to see but um, I disclose as well there's the ever so slight bleed to the uh, red embroidery there but it's really not bad and um, but I, I still did it new with defects and I disclosed all that and I lowered my price accordingly so this sold for twenty dollars by paying shipping and then this one it was not new with tags but it was just like you know super awesome how cool is this <laughs> with this color block I love it um, and this sold for $24.99 with buyer paying shipping and I picked both of these up for 50 cents each at a yard sale and these I picked up about two to three weeks ago I think um, it cost me 250 for both of these like the lot um, they were these metal canteens and these were the Boy Scouts of America be prepared um, like canvas covers for them you can see the wear here I mean there's definitely like there's dents and there's rust and all sorts but anyway lots of together they sold for $14.99 with buyer paying shipping um, this I've had for forever. <laughs> well, it feels like forever. It's probably only been about three months, three and a half months, but it feels like it's been a while because it's a big piece to store, at least in my small garage. <laughs> um, I got this at a church room sale, like a filler bag sale. And so when it, I kind of lotted it all out, it ended up being 26 cents. Um, and it sold for 19.99. Um, this I got for 33 cents when it was all lotted out um, and it had this kind of like crazy African print on it I mean there was so much in here I had no idea how to photograph this thing really to, to kind of get it all in but I guess I managed anyway um, I took a best offer on this for $20 since I only had 33 cents in it um, and buy page ping on that too and it was only up for about two weeks I would say um, this I got 
maybe three weeks ago and this was in a whole video as well I got this at Goodwill when they were having a 50% off sale so I actually ended up paying for this two dollars and fifty cents for this zip-up jacket the brand was nothing terribly special it was this Charles River apparel um, but it did have this little Apple symbol here which is the reason why I bought it it did have tags in still and um, not on the outside but it had like these uh, these tags inside um and it obviously was in like brand new condition pretty much but um because this apple symbol i figured i'll take a chance on it and it sold for a best offer of 40 dollars in about a week i had it up i think so that was pretty cool and the very last thing is this pepsi work shirt i got four of these at that very same goodwill um half price sale and um, so i paid a dollar fifty per shirt i still have three left as you can see i still have two people watching it still so i sold one of these and they were all as well in used condition they had some small marks on them and things like that obviously disclosed and photographed as well um but it's it's going that's awesome <laughs> all right um so let me tell you my numbers so this week was definitely better um i would tell you that my gross profit across ebay and etsy for the last seven days was 471 dollars and 63 cents um the total money that i spent on all of the items that i just showed you here so just the products alone was 19 dollars and 85 cents that's the total investment i had in product um and so after listing fees and after final value fees and the cost of product and all those sort of bits and bobs that go with it um, the gross amount of profit that I made this week was uh, $400 uh, sorry $418 and 59 cents um, so $274.55 of that was Etsy so Etsy did pretty good this time and I think about $197 was eBay so yay go Etsy <laughs> keep going Etsy um, Anyway, I hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope you found some cool stuff. Um, you know, got some cool stuff to be listing this week. Good luck with the listing. Um, falls coming. Get those fall things up, guys. Um, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see some more. Um, I do whole videos pretty much every week and sales videos every week as well. I share the ups and the downs. Um, some weeks are good. Some weeks are not so good. I will let you know it all. <laughs> and um, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week. Bye for now.